Hey guys, uh, we are trying to test out this live. Um, we have some big news that's going on right now in the UK. Um, unfortunately, right now, um, there was a press release. Um, let's see. There's a press release this morning. Um, and the press release stated... Let me pull it back up. Press release this morning stated, following further evaluation this morning, the Queen's doctors are concerned for Her Majesty's health and have recommended she remain under medical supervision. The Queen remains comfortable and at Balmoral. Um, now, I'm sure, I don't know if anybody's seen my video from before, but I was a mess um, and I needed to change because um, I believe that we are currently in Operation London Bridge. Um, Operation London Bridge is going to be what, it's the signal that the courtiers and the press um, will use to pass the information along to prepare, hi Shadow, um, to prepare for um, her passing. Um, so, that will go out and the point of that is so that the information doesn't leak before you know whoever needs to know i'm i can't even imagine like how complex this is this is going to be um as far as i am aware um i don't know anybody um alive today that was alive when the queen um was coronated um nobody that i know that i could speak to anyway um this is going to be massive. Um, my thoughts and prayers are with the family. Um, right now, I don't know if people know, but Harry and Meghan are on a tour, if you will, um, in the UK and in Germany. Um, yesterday was their down day and people were wondering, are they going to come back um, to the UK? Are they going to go to Scotland, to Belmoral to see the Queen? Um, as she's been up there, she goes up there every summer. That's like her home away from home. It's actually her favorite place. Um, she prefers it even over Windsor. Um, Windsor is her second favorite. Um, she does not, um, she's not a big fan of Buckingham Palace. Um, they call that the big house. But um, so I think there's a little serendipity in that, that she's in Balmoral and I digressed. Um, Basically, Prince Harry, Meghan, they're on their way there. Um, we have Andrew and Edward um, and their families are on their way up to Balmoral. Charles, Camilla, and Anne are already with the Queen. Um, and William and Kate are also on their way up to Balmoral. There is increased um, security presence um, in Balmoral or at Balmoral at the gates. And it's just, this is heartbreaking. It's so sad. I do... I do think that um, we do need to prepare ourselves. Um, when I saw the press release this morning, um, it's very unusual, very rare for the palace to just to ever speak on the queen's health. They they very much believe in, you know, never complain, never explain, and they don't like to tell about their health. Um, I was actually really surprised that the queen um, and Prince Philip told people that they had the COVID vaccine. Um, I understand why they did, but it, it was still shocking um, to me. So to have such a, this is just such a huge announcement. Um, and then, like I said, to see the banners change and the anchors are changed, that's um, out of respect. I, I put some black on too. Um, so yeah, it's just, I as soon as I, I get information, I'm gonna jump on live. Um, I'm following this and, you know, thoughts and prayers with the queen. And, you know, she's lived a very long life. She's 96 years old. Um, and, you know, all the people from her family, her mom, her dad, her husband, um, her sister, all her family from her generation. She's kind of the last one. And the Duke of Kent, um, Prince Michael, Duke of Kent, um, they're the only two left from their generation. And part of me, well, we're all going to miss her. I, I, none of us know what it's gonna be like without her. I mean, for all of our lives, the queen has been one of the, even in the United States, anywhere in the world, she's been a, a 
strong figure for everyone. She's she's always been there. We've all known the queen is there. She's been a mainstay for everybody, um, whether you're in that country or not. Um, and I think I think the world is going to go into, you know, global global mourning for her. I think we're going to see something more than we ever saw with even Princess Diana. Um, you know, we all miss her. Obviously, it, it's ironic. Her twenty fifth um, anniversary of her passing was just on the thirty first of August. Um, so yeah, it's just it's. I don't know what to say. It's 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 very sad. Um, it's very sad, um, but I really do think in my heart of hearts, I'm almost happy for her because she's going to be reunited with her family um, and she's 96. Um, I am a little surprised by the quickness in how this happened. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of people follow this or not, but um, Boris Johnson had been had resigned and um, they have a new prime minister and she was you know sworn in and for the first time in the Queen's reign she actually um, did the you know the ceremonial you know will you start a will you start a government in my name um, she did it for the first time um, ever in her reign um sorry i'm just checking love you guys you guys are amazing hello um hello from slovakia oh my god hi how are you um thank you for joining my stream um so yeah it's just um it's just so sad but i i really do think that i'm happy for her i'm, I'm, I'm super excited i guess in a way that she's going to be reunited especially with prince philip i mean can you imagine being married to somebody for 73 years she has been i mean oh i gotta mod people hold on a second guys i'm live and i'm trying to figure this out so bear with me oh my gosh let's see let me open this let me see the can i see the chat oh there it is shadow do you have a wrench now I wish I could see the chat all the time. Hi, Nola. Yay. All right. Um, I think I can kind of see the chat now. I'm going to put the chat on my phone in case you guys have questions or anything. Um, bear with me a second. This is my first live, guys. Thanks for coming. Let me turn my volume off. All right, perfect. Okay, I got it up here. Um, all right, so um, right now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep an eye on Twitter. I am going to keep an eye on, you know, Sky, ITV, and the BBC. I'm not a big fan of the BBC um, because of the things that happened um, and the way they've been with the royal family um, in regards to like Martin Bashir and the panorama interview. Um, that's something I'll touch on on a different day. Definitely not today. Um, now's not the time, but um, I definitely follow more uh, ITV and Sky News. Um, so I will be keeping an eye on that. Um, I'm going to be keeping an eye also on the flag at Buckingham Palace um, and the one at Balmoral. Um, when she passes, that flag will be removed. So if you happen to be watching any live streams and you happen to see some movement in the background if they are able to show um you know the the castle or anything in the background if you see the flag come down um that's a that's that's a big signal um and just so you guys know um a lot of people i've seen on um, twitter have questions regarding what will happen um you know, as far as like, how does, does Charles have to be coronated? Like what happens? Um, as soon as the queen passes away, um, she will, uh, Prince Charles will immediately be king. Um, a coronation will come later on down the road. Um, but he will immediately become king and Prince William 
will become, uh, he won't become Prince of um, Wales because that's not automatic, um, but he will auto obviously automatically become um, the heir to the throne. Um, all of the queen, I'm just getting a message come through now. All of the queen's children, Charles, Anne, Edward, and Andrew are either at the queen's bedside um, or traveling to be with her. Prince William is in Scotland um, and it is stated that this is grave is is as grave as it gets. Um, very ominous. Um, I'm seeing police have set up barricades outside Balmoral as well. Um, it's just, oh, it's heartbreaking. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna um, get off this because this was just to try to check it out and make sure I can go live. Oh, hi, witchy mama. Um, I'm going to go live as soon as something breaks. Um, this is crazy. Um, yeah. So if you're not following me on Twitter, I'll be posting stuff on Twitter. Um, and I'll definitely be sharing either, um, a recorded video. I'm definitely going to go live. I'm going to try to find my laptop. I've started packing stuff. Um, so I can, uh, hopefully share some information like on the screen while I'm talking. Um, but yeah, so I will catch up with you guys later um, under, I wish it was under better circumstances. We'll put it that way. Um, all right, guys, I will talk to you later um, and just, you know, keep the queen and the royal family in your thoughts and prayers. Um, yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Talk to you soon.